Hello friends, welcome to automation community. Today in this video, we are going to discuss an example which will be about automated test bench. So let's look at the example first. Automated test bench. When a test specimen is placed on the bench, a series of three tests should run sequentially, each lasting for 10 seconds. The time delay between two tests should be 5 seconds. So, when a test specimen is placed on the bench, a sensor will detect its presence. So when the sensor gets activated, the first test will start and it should run for 10 seconds. And after test 1, there will be a delay of 5 seconds. And after 5 seconds, test 2 should run and it should run for another 10 seconds. And after that, there will be again a delay of 5 seconds and after that there will be third test and it will be again for 10 seconds. So in this way it will end the process. So in this, way, uh, so in this example we will use normally open contacts. We will also use timers like pulse timer that is TP and we will also be use T on that is on delay timer. So let's move to Eco Structure Machine Expert where we will draw a ladder diagram for automated test bench. I will open Eco Structure Machine Expert Basic. I will keep read protection as inactive and write protection as inactive as well. That results uploading the application from the controller is unrestricted. And downloading an application to the controller or modifying the application in the controller is unrestricted. So if I keep it active, then Uploading the application from the controller is disabled due to the blank password. That means if we keep it active, we have to set password here. And then, then uploading the application from the controller will be restricted. That means it will need a password. And also, downloading an application to the controller or modifying the application in the controller will be restricted. That is, it will ask for the password that we have put it here. So for now, I will keep it inactive for read protection as well as write protection. And then I will click on apply. So after that, I will go to configuration tab. So here we have to select the logic controller. We have to configure the device in this tab. So here, is a list of different logic controllers. I will be using TM221C24R. I will click on it and then drag it to here. Do you want to replace TM221M16RG by TM221C24R? You may lose some features and associated configuration. So I want to replace it. So I will click on yes. So here is a device description about TM221C24R. That is, it has 14 digital inputs, 10 relay outputs, 2 analog inputs, 1 serial line port, and 100 to 
240 volt AC power supply controller with removable terminal blocks. So after that, I can also go to serial line where I will select protocol as TMH2GDB. I can also set it as Modbus ASCII TMH2GDB or Modbus Serial IO Scanner. I will keep it TMH2GDB for now. And then I will click on apply. So if I keep protocol as TMH2GDB, then there is no need to, up to set the serial line settings. So after that, I will click on programming tab. So here I will be drawing ladder diagram. I can also click on this option to set a full screen mode. I can also click on this option to unset full screen mode. So for now, I will set the full screen mode. And then I can also zoom into it like this. I can also zoom out like this. So firstly, I will insert a normally open contact. And I will assign address to it as I 0.0. .0. I will also add symbol to it as start button. Yes. And then I will insert one more normally open contact. And I will assign address to it as I 0.1. And I will also add symbol to it as sensor. That will detect the presence of an object of the specimen at the bench and then I will insert a coil and I will assign address to it as Q 0.1 and I will also add symbol to it as test 1 yes so when start button is turned on and the sensor gets activated that is the sensor detects the presence of an object then test one will run and then I will add a new rung and here I will insert two normally open contacts and I will assign address to this normally open contact as I 0.0, .0 which is a start button and I 0.1 which is a sensor and then I will insert a timer and that should be T on. I will change time base to one second and preset value as 10 and then click on apply. After that, I will insert a coil here and I will assign address to it as M0 which is a memory bit. So M0 will get true after 10 seconds. So we will use this M0 to turn off this. We will use this memory bit to end test 1. So I will use normally closed contact here. And I will assign address to it as M0. I will add a new rung and then I will insert a normally open contact, another normally open contact and I will assign address to this normally open contact as I 0.0, .0 which is a start button and I 0.1 which is a sensor and then I will insert a normally closed contact and I will assign address to this normally open contact, normally closed contact same as this that is Q 0.0 .0. and then I will insert a coil. I will assign address to it as Q 0.1. I will also add symbol to it as test 2. Yes. So there will be a delay of 5 seconds after test 1. So there will be used on delay timer that is T on.
I will change time base to one second and preset value as five and then click on apply. And then I will use one more timer and that will be pulse timer that is TP. I will change time base to one second and preset value as 10 and then click on apply. So when start button is turned on and sensor gets activated, it detects the presence of an object at the bench, then test one will start. And as start button and sensor are true, then there will be a delay of 10 seconds for M0 to be true. So after 10 seconds, M0 gets true. And here, when M0 gets true, the current will not flow through it and test one will end. So test one will end after 10 seconds. And then, as start button and sensor are already true, that start button is turned on and there is object detected by the sensor and test one is already done and after that there will be a delay of five seconds after test one has completed then there will be a delay of five seconds and after five seconds test two will start and it will be completed in 10 seconds and then i will add a new rung here for test three so here I will insert to normally open contacts to normally close contacts I will assign address to this normally open contact as I 0.0, .0 which is a start button which is mandatory for all these processes and then I 0 0.1 which is a sensor which will be activated when there is an object detected at the test bench it is also mandatory it should be always on if it is not on if the if the object is not there then none of these tests will occur and I will assign address to this normally closed contact as Q 0 0.1 which is test 1 and Q 0 0.1 which is test 2 so these two testers should have been occurred it should have been completed already and after test 1 and test 2 test 3 will happen so these tests will occur sequentially with a delay of 5 seconds and the each test will occur for 10 seconds so I will assign address to this file as Q 0.2. I will also add symbol to it as test 2. Sorry. Test 3. So after completing the test 2, there will be again a delay of 5 seconds. So I will use a timer and that will be T on. I will change time base to one second and preset value as five. And then I will click on apply. And then again, this test three should be done in 10 seconds only. So here we will use another timer that is pulse timer. I will change it to TP pulse timer. I will change time base to one second and preset value as 10 and then click on apply. So when start button is turned on the sensor gets activated that is when an object is detected at the test bench then test one will occur 
and also there will be a delay of 10 seconds for M0 to turn on to get true and when M0 gets true after 10 seconds it will help us to end this test 1 and after that these two are already uh, open the start button is already turned on and the sensor is already activated as there is an object detected there and test 1 has been completed it has been false and after that there will be a delay of 5 seconds for test 2 so after test 1 there will be a delay of 5 seconds and test 2 will start and it will be completed in 10 seconds and after test 1 has completed and there there was a delay of 5 seconds and then test 2 has occurred and it has been completed so when the, both of these are false then there will be again a delay of 5 seconds for test 3 and after a delay of 5 seconds test 3 will start and it will run for 10 seconds and after 10 seconds test 3 will stop it will be completed in this interval of time so i will exit full screen mode and then i will compile the program and then i will go to commissioning and launch simulator After that, I will start controller. To do so, click OK. So I will go to programming and click on full screen mode. So when start button is turned on, and none of the test has occurred. So there should be the presence of an object at the test bench. So sensor should get activated. So when there is an object, the sensor gets activated and test 1 will start. So there is also a delay of 10 seconds for M0 that will help us to end this test 1. So after 10 seconds, test 1 has stopped and there will be a delay of 5 seconds for test 2 and after 5 seconds test 2 is started and this test 2 will be for 10 seconds 9 10 and after 10 seconds test 2 has stopped and again there will be a delay of 5 seconds and after 5 seconds test 3 will run and it will run for another 10 seconds And after 10 seconds, this test is completed. It was all about this example. Thank you for watching.